appreciate you, viewer. Pay attention down below for five seconds. We're experimenting with yet another tractor tool to do a job it wasn't intended for. So I had an epiphany. You know, my, my wife likes to, to walk our dog around the property and uh, you know, this time of year with all the snow and everything, it's, it's very, well, it can be challenging, you know, and not just for her to walk through and trudge through. That's not a lot of fun to do in deeper snow, but uh, even with a dog, you know, I mean, it's, it can be really challenging for her and um, oftentimes gets these huge ice balls or snowballs all caught up in all of her fur and makes it really hard to, to run around. So anyway, um, kind of got the idea from like a, a snow trail groomer, obviously, and I thought, well, what the heck? This Colta Packer here works really well. I love the finished results and dirt that it does. Let's give it a shot in snow. So we took a dirt dog and made it a snow dog to keep our dog happy. Oh, and we just got done, just so you know, and uh, we'll talk about this at the end, but you see a nice trail of what I was hoping was uniformly lined water and uh, it actually looks like it's coming out of the, the transaxle. There's a nice puddle down there. So uh, losing some hydraulic fluid for unknown reasons, don't know. I'm hoping it's just a drain plug. We'll dig into that in a little bit. All right, so we're using a Kubota M4D071, about a 71 horsepower tractor. Uh, it's a five series, you know, um, a small utility tractor. So, you know, think of your Kubota L6060, a John Deere 4066R, one step bigger than that. So it's got the big ag tires on there. We do have the rear tires loaded with ballast weight and we're putting on the 96 inch wide Dirt Dog Colt Packer on here. I've used this this summer for our food plots. Worked really well for that. Now you can get smaller Colta Packers and I had half a mind to put together our Packer Max pull type Colta Packer as well. Um, but you do have to fill those Colta Packers with water. And I, you know, just being wintertime, obviously I, I, I could store it inside. If you have an indoor storage place for that, um, then that'd be a good solution for you. Or if you fill it with sand, that's another alternative as well. Now I had previously used our pull type snowblower um, on the Summit smaller Summit tractor to uh, blow some trails out, primarily in our yard where it's shorter manicured grass but uh, this is kind of going around the field perimeters and uh, just some different pasture areas and you know there's all sorts of debris and, and different conditions there and I thought that's not a very good situation for the snow blower and why not have something that just kind of rolls over something heavy and rolls over it and packs it down and see how that does and really for the most part it worked really well and this is a snowfall that happened oh several days ago um, we had somewhere around 12 inches, maybe 14 inches, something like that of snowfall. Some sun has come out, it's packed it down a little bit. Um, and so that's kind of the conditions that we're dealing with, kind of that soft, softer packing snow right now. Uh, but I do think that this works really well and you got to have enough tractor and enough tractor clearance to be able to drive over your snow and do it. Uh, there's a couple times when 
the, the Colt the Packer didn't want to keep rolling forward. You know, if you take off too fast, it kind of wants to plow through the snow instead of rolling. And so you got to slowly rev up your engine or, or slowly rev up your speed instead of just going from zero to 100 right away. So we had the paddle forks on the Kubota. I wanted to put on the bucket just in case there was some pile I wanted to move out or in case I got stuck and it's a lot easier to kind of use your loader to get yourself out with a bucket versus any other tool in my opinion. <laughs> One of those things putting it on, you know, that's, well, it happens with the John Deere Quick Attach, but I, I have more issues with it with the Skid Quick Attach. You know, you get a, snow kind of packed in between uh, the two plates or the two mating surfaces and you, you don't get a good lock on there. I don't know what the heck happened. I thought I had these pins locked right down in there, but I went to dump all that snow out and obviously I didn't. So that, that, was, that was pretty funny, but uh, an easy fix. We got that thing hooked up and fortunately we didn't have to use the bucket at all. We had plenty of traction, plenty of power, and in fact, I was partway through uh, cult to packing and, and grooming that trail before I even realized I was in two-wheel drive. I switched into four-wheel drive just because. Folks, so this is the Dirt Dog cult to packer right here, and you know me, I love versatility. So if you can find something else to do with a tool that you already have, then that just makes it more valuable. And that's what I was trying to do with today's video, and I don't know, I think it worked pretty well. Uh, maybe it's not for everybody, but if you are thinking about a cult packer, maybe for your food plots, your garden, um, doing landscaping work for yard renovations or whatever, and you want some other purpose for it, well, maybe this kind of gets the wheels turning and maybe it's not even necessarily grooming trails, but it makes you think of some other idea to do with it. So that's really what the channel's all about. Now this here is about as big as they make them. Uh, we can get them in, uh, oh boy, 60, 72, 84 different diameters as well. Uh, this is gonna be the notched style. They have a smooth style too, but this kind uh, breaks up the claws a little bit more where, you know, if you're gonna be tilling or plowing and then uh, seeding and, and all that kind of stuff, this just kind of helps I think for most conditions work a little bit better, but a lot of you guys out there have been using Cult Packers for years, so share your expertise with others uh, in the comment section too on that. So I don't think you necessarily need to go with one that's this big uh, to do what I did. It just happens to be kind of a, a good fit for the tractor that we were using today. Um, you know, something like a 1025R Kubota BX, um, you know, 2025R, you know, the smaller subcompacts and, and, and compact tractors, a 60 or a 72 uh, would be sufficient in like a nine inch diameter. Um, but these are gonna have greasable bearings on there. They're gonna have a parking stand included, quick hitch compatible, or just hook it up right to your three point hitch as well. It's pretty straightforward, I think. There is an optional scraping kit that you can get. I actually have never, I don't think, sold one of those. Pretty sure it bolts right onto here and it's basically gonna be like mud scrapers. So be kind of like a little plate that's positioned somewhere around here. And as the wheels are turning around, if there's mud buildup on there or dirt buildup on there, it's gonna kind of clean it off and uh, let the cult packer do its job. And then of course, we've, we've mentioned it before, but we have an alternative to uh, the three point mount, traditional big old honking style cult packer as well, which is gonna be the Packer Max. Um, it's made out of kind of that same material as our Rhino Hide canopies, um, kind of like the bed liner material. HDPE is what it is, a very strong, tough, durable material. It's lightweight as well. You can fill that full of water or full of sand. Um, it's gonna be pull type, or you can get three point mount, but they are set up in a way where they can actually ship those like UPS ground or FedEx ground, not on a big semi truck and LTL, keeps the cost down that way too, uh, but a great solution for ATVs and UTVs, uh, could be garden tractors, or if you have some stuff with a three point hitch and some stuff without, you can get just a pull type and you can pull it on any of those pieces of equipment. And so they're a member of the GWT Discount Club. You go right to Packer Max's website, you save 5% with code GWT, you order right from them and they'll ship it right out to you. So here's that puddle of oil, the nice trail coming right back to it. And actually we had it, had it parked here previously and it was right by the drain. I thought this was like just some leftover water that had dried up and that's what was left. Then we come back and had it parked here for five minutes and this is what it looked like. So we're draining pretty good. Got another pile of oil up there too. So we're gonna try to tighten that plug up. Don't know what the heck happened there, but we'll have an update for you down the road. There's always something coming up out of the blue around here. So a good reason to subscribe. Now, if you're looking for a tractor attachment, something like this Colt Packer, something for your front end loader or anything else for your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Check out goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Folks, so I got the report back from my wife, uh, who I made those walking trails for, and turns out it made life a little bit harder. So apparently those little ridges and then the really compressed snow down in between there kind of make your feet want to go one way or the other. 
and a little challenging to walk in a straight line. So, I don't know, maybe next time, the snow's already melting off, but maybe next time I'll do a double row pass on that and try to split the difference if I can. Um, maybe that'll make an improvement. Some other folks though, when I posted pictures on social media, said they'd seen this before, um, being used for uh, trail grooming for cross country skis or for snowmobiles or whatever else. So there are some other potential more practical uses for it, but the verdict is in for the walking trail and at least the way that I did it, it doesn't work so well. Yeah.